I'm Christina Wicks, secretary to the principal at Post and Kill Elementary School. I'm Carrie Stern, teacher's aide at Able Park High School. I'm Bob Davis. I'm a bus driver at the transportation department at Able Park High School. I was taking a couple of kids out of a classroom. They were having a little trouble focusing. We chatted back and forth, and um, he just started talking about the school shootings in Florida, that he was having a hard time thinking about anything else. So as well as listening to what he was saying, I also directed him to um, some different avenues, maybe to go see a counselor, or even just to go down to the office to maybe have a parent called so that they knew that he was having trouble uh, focusing in class. I'll tell you, I've been driving for Able Park for about 15 years now. And uh, every year they have a senior day where they go up to Grafton State Park and they take all the seniors for a picnic and a cookout. We all piled on the bus, but unbeknownst to them, I had brought my fishing poles and tackle box with me. The special needs kids all went too, about eight or nine of them. And we started fishing and these kids had never caught a fish before. The ones that were ambulatory uh, were extremely excited and jumping around. We were catching sunfish and perch, but I had Christopher kissing some of the fish and V kissing some of the fish, and it was an extremely pleasant day, but more so these kids were beyond excited. It's at graduation at the Empire State Plaza, when they show the school video of the entire school year for the senior class, uh, all of a sudden they break into this video of me with the fish and the kids kissing the fish and catching the fish and the excitement that was on their face and people started roaring. I mean, they were laughing so hard. And to me, this is, this is not in my job description. This is something that we go above and beyond just through our hearts, through our passion, what we enjoy doing. And I made a huge difference I do get concerned when people start moving on to other places that they seem to think are greener pastures and it, it, it worries me because all three of my kids went to school at Averill Park and we came here because of the value in the district. We do bring a lot to the table and we are valuable. I don't want to see it go away. I, I want to see it get better and I, I know we have that in us to make it better. Being in the office at the school, um, we are the face of Averill Park. We are the voice of Averill Park when the parents are reaching out to us and need something. I willingly go above and beyond answering their questions in the best way I'm capable of, um, assuring them that their child is always safe, that I'm, we're taking care of their child, we're listening to them, getting the information to their student, to their child, um, and I'm able to do that because I am a parent of a student in April Park. Another child I helped one time, he was having a real hard time at home. Mom was very sick, and I think just coming into school every day and seeing a constant face, a constant caring face, how's it going today, what's going on at home, um, how's mom doing, just to try and help him um, get over her being in such pain. Having the same person there every day uh, was very important, I think, to that child. We're worried and concerned. Things are changing in April Park at all of the schools. In the transportation department, we've, uh, we've been stretched really thin. Uh, we have mechanics driving almost every day. We have groundskeepers helping us out. We have a phenomenal reputation as bus drivers of being accident-free, and we drive some of the hardest roads in, in the entire county. Uh, whether it's snow or just gravel roads, whatever, and we have to stay focused. I run into a lot of people, and a lot of people tell me they couldn't do a bus driver's job. They don't know how we do it. 99% of us love what we're doing. We really enjoy the kids. It's not only in our own departments that we see this. It's in other departments as well. We're extremely short-staffed on custodians. They're, they're cleaning and trying to stay ahead of the flu. People get sick and in very, all of the schools. Yeah, it's been very difficult when you have the substitutes that come in. You get hot spots throughout the building. When you have subs coming in at night, they're not able to hit those hot spots. I happen to have a, a student on my bus that's in a wheelchair. And my attendant went out on her own and bought a blanket for this child, bought a teddy bear for this child to help occupy this child. She reads books 
to him. Uh, she's a phenomenal attendant. All the jobs at Averill Park, people do it above and beyond what's expected of them. They, they go way beyond what they need to, and they do it because they love the kids. At Averill Park, we need to stop this trend. We need to retain quality staff. We need to attract quality staff. We can only do that by raising standards. Standards that we've already set very high here in Averill Park, we need to keep them there. Our children are worth it.